In this video, I'm comparing 17 Hats to one of its competitors, HoneyBook. So let's just go ahead and dive in. Hi everyone, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer and I love to teach people how to run successful creative businesses. Such a huge part of that is having a good client management system and I've reviewed a bunch of them here on my channel so I hope you'll check out the full playlist for more videos on these and some of our other alternatives. I do have discount codes for both of these systems if you want to try them out. Find those in the description of this video and I hope you'll like and subscribe while you're here if you found this video helpful. All right, so you know I'm gonna be honest with you about how I feel about these systems and what's good and what's bad. There's no system that doesn't have anything bad to it. So what I think this comparison really comes down to is 17 Hats is kind of like an older, more serious, bookish big sister. And Honey Book is kind of like your cool cousin or something. <laughs> so I think you can already see from comparing this dashboard to this one that HoneyBook is trying to be a little bit more trendy. You're going to find a little bit more customization features as far as appearance and look overall. 17 Hats is a little bit more, I don't want to say like stricter button up because it's really not. It's really beautiful and classic. It's less about customization and appearance and a little bit more about just like solid workforce. I think HoneyBook sometimes can have some little glitches and your clients might have trouble logging in every now and again. That's something that I hear from people, uh, but it turns out to be really beautiful and customizable. 17 Hats, I don't hear about those issues, but there's less customization features. So I think that's gonna be the biggest difference between these two systems at their core. Of course, there's gonna be slight feature differences and I'll go over those in a second, but to me, that's really what this one comes down to. All right, so some of the basics is that HoneyBook is only available in the US and Canada. So if you're not in those locations, then you absolutely can't use HoneyBook. 17 Hats is available pretty much anywhere that their payment processors are going to connect with. So if you go into your settings and you'll go to your invoice options and then you'll be able to connect to Stripe, Square or Authorized.net. Those are basically the geographical limits of 17 Hats. So a good, and or bad thing is that 17 Hats connects with other payment processors. You do have to have an account with 17 Hats and then you'll have to have an account with Stripe Square or Authorized.net. I use Stripe personally for most of my business. Um, it doesn't cost anything to have an account, but then you do pay, you know, your 2.9 plus 30 cents per transaction, which is pretty standard. You'll find it's very similar with Square. Um, PayPal is 3% for instance. So. This is pretty standard here, uh, but you will have to have kind of a separate account and then any like refunds, billing issues that you come across, you'll handle those through Stripe Square or Authorized.net. You won't handle those through 17 Hats. 17 Hats is more keeping track of those. HoneyBook is its own payment processor and the current transaction fee is 3% or 1.5 for ACH which is basically about the same as we said with 17 hats. But what's nice about that is you don't need to uh, have a different account. You can do everything through HoneyBook and then all your refunds and other things will also happen through HoneyBook. So that can be a plus or a minus. If you're already using Stripe or Square for other things in your business and you want everything to be under that, then definitely go with 17 hats. Um, if you wanna keep it really, really simple, HoneyBook is going to keep everything all in one and the fees are very, very similar. As far as pricing between the two systems, um, HoneyBook actually is running a promotion right now where you can get started for a dollar a month for your first six months. Um, and then when they're not running that promotion, they have another plan here that's $9 a month um, and basically gets you all the same things. But when you process over $10,000 in transactions, they move you up to the larger plan. So it's basically got all the same features. Um, it's just when you're getting started out, you can do that for $9 a month. My code's gonna get you 50% off of that pricing for your first year. So you can get started for a dollar a month right now and after that for about five dollars a month. 17 Hats pricing is kind of based on um, how many forms and things that you're going to use. It's not my favorite pricing model in the world, but I do think that it's a good option for a lot of people and it's very flexible. So if you're sending 20 documents per month, $13. If you're sending up to 35 documents per month, um, it's $25 a month. And what's cool about this is it includes like kind of all the features. It's just about how often and how much you're using it. So I think that would work for a lot of people. Uh, but in general, you're going to end up kind of at this $50 a month plan and then you'll end up 
probably add HoneyBook's $39 a month plan. So I don't think that price is really a huge difference between these, nor are credit card fees. Um, but if that is really, really important to you, then definitely recommend getting started on that HoneyBook $1 promo if you can. And use my link in the description to get discounts on all of these. Now, from a features perspective, I want to show you uh, their automations because I think those are really important to taking yourself out of your business, which is awesome. I love how HoneyBooks are shown here. They kind of make this like flow chart for you and these are different tasks that you can do. In 17 Hacks, you'll go into this workflow and we'll create a little template. The different things you can add a to-do list, you can pause or you can do an action, which you'll see there's quite a few more options on here. So you have email, questionnaires, quotes, contracts, invoices, workflows, um, changing the calendar, archiving the project and adding or remove tags. Here you can do your email, create task, send file via email, and then send smart file via email. Smart files are a new thing that are still a little bit in beta, but they are available to anyone who uses my link. Um, they add more actions to this. So they make it possible to do proposals and contracts and things all together in one kind of automated workflow. So I think that even though we're seeing only four actions here, um, I would say that the, the types of things that you can do in HoneyBook and 17 Hats are very similar, maybe slight edge in this case to 17 Hats. But what I like about HoneyBooks is that you can put them together. So you see this whole little background here. You're basically gonna be able to create a whole flow chart of we're gonna send the email and then we're gonna create the task and then we're gonna send the file, etc. And all of those are based on different triggers such as the client signing, something or days passing or whatever. Um, so you'll be able to really connect those things together. In 17 Hats, I find it a slight bit more difficult to connect things together, but you still absolutely can do that um, in the workflow capability. It's just not kind of in this like pretty flow chart kind of, <laughs> kind of vibe, which I like. This is a great example of the features not being very different, but the look and feel of things in HoneyBook being a little bit more trendy and fun and in 17 Hats being a little bit more of a workforce platform. 17 Hats has a lot of integrations that might be really useful to you that HoneyBook doesn't have. So we have Zoom, QuickBooks, Zapier, InView, Fundy, ProSelect, and ShootProof. So if any of those are really important to your business, definitely recommend getting into 17 Hats. In HoneyBook, there is a QuickBooks integration. Um, I have a whole video on HoneyBook versus QuickBooks if you want to kind of hear my thoughts on that. But then there's another integration here in HoneyBook that I really like, which is this Chrome extension. Um, if you do use Gmail for your business's email platform, I use Outlook as you can see over here, um, you will definitely want to download this Chrome extension. I have a whole other video of it, but it basically, if you have Gmail, it basically brings HoneyBook into your inbox. And so when you get an email from a client, it's gonna pull up their project right there. When you get a new lead capture, it's gonna allow you to create a project. Um, right there from your inbox and it's just really seamless and I, I love that Chrome extension. I love how that brings it into your inbox and I wish they would open it up for more platforms. Uh, but if you use G Suite for your business email, definitely check out HoneyBook because they have a few different things. There's also this uh, batch emailing, which is it's kind of like collecting an email list and sending out emails, but uh, you have to be careful about who you add onto the list because they don't have like opt-in forms. So you wanna make sure you're only emailing people that have uh, committed, that have given you permission to email them. So otherwise things you'll see on here, we have our calendar, scheduling, tasks, time tracker, we have templates and reporting, um, and we have our contact form. These are all things that you're also gonna find here. So we have contacts and leads, uh, projects, calendars, uh, to do documents, workflow, and bookkeeping, which is your reporting. So a lot of things are very, very similar between 17 Nuts and HoneyBook. I really don't think there's a ton of deal breakers unless you use G Suite, in which case I think HoneyBook is definitely for you. If you are really interested in any of these integrations, in which I, case I think 17 Hats is really for you, or if you're outside of the US or Canada, of course you can't use HoneyBook. So love 17 Hats. And then as I said at the beginning, I think this kind of comes down to, as you can see, 17 Hats is just a little bit more of a workforce. It might be potentially more reliable. Um, they're not adding new flashy features all the time. They're really focused on the performance and the usability of this platform, which I absolutely love as a business owner. HoneyBook, I'm not saying that they're crappy and <laughs> nothing works right. I'm just saying that they are constantly adding new features, which can be sometimes causing issues with the user experience. So 
if you want something that is just going to work 100%, uh, go with 17 hats. If you want something that's going to be adding some of those more flashy features, allowing customization, um, letting you change colors and fonts and make everything really pretty match your brand, then HoneyBook is going to be something you want to look at. Check out some of our other videos on 17 hats, HoneyBook, and our other client management systems that we review here on our channel. And if you are interested in trying either of these, use the link in the description of the video to get the best deals on them. Let me know what other features you want to explore and if there's any other systems you'd like me to check out. Thanks everybody.